welcome. Um, I tonight is the uh, Ilula, the anniversary of the passing of the Or Chaim Rabbi Chaim Ben Atav. I'm going to read a bit of his uh, perush, his explanations on the parsha of this week, Parshat Barak. Uh, if you look in the Chumash, Sefer Bamidbar, Perk Bet, Pasukud Bet. This is around the time where. Uh, Coach Baruch Hu, the Creator, allows Bil'am to go, but for the reasons that the, uh, the Creator wants him to go, not for the reasons that Bil'am wanted to go to. So the Pasuk actually says, mm-hmm. So he was, um, so this is actually the first time, this is before he allowed him to go. This is where Coach Baruch Hu said that Bil'am couldn't go with them, them was the messengers from Balak, um, and he shouldn't curse them, the nation, because they are blessed. So Olachayim is going to uh, take apart this pasuk and explain many different ideas. Okay, Olachayim, v'yomer elokim el bilam, on this pasuk, tarich ladat, you have, you should know. Lama hutzrach lomar el bilam v'lo ispik b'amo v'yomer lo. Why did it has to say v'yomer elokim el bilam to bilam, and why didn't it just say v'yomer lo? He just said to him. Why did it have to include Bilam's name? Odd, another question. Why did it have to say, you shouldn't go and you shouldn't curse? What's with the two, uh, two actions there that he should be prohibited from doing? Odd, and uh, the third question. Why does he have to tell him why he shouldn't curse them, that they're blessed? Why does, he have to, why does Hashem, Kadosh Baruch Hu, the Creator, have to tell Bilam that? So then he quotes Midrash Rabbah, on this pasuk, Midrash Rabba, Amru, this is their saying, this is what they said. Amar lo, Bilam said to Akadosh Baruch Hu, the Creator, Akalalem bim komi, I will curse them from here, from my place. Amar lo, lo toar, lo taor. And Akadosh Baruch Hu said to Bilam, you shouldn't curse them, or you will not curse them. Amar lo, he said back to Hashem, im ken avarachem. Okay, if I can't curse them, I'll bless them. Don't bother blessing them, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, because they're already blessed. Adkan, this is what the Midrash Rabbah says. In a previous explanation that Or Chaim brought, he explained in uh, the Pasuk of Mian Hashim, uh, who were these people, uh, it explained that uh, they were sleeping in the same tent as Bilam, and Bilam was considered to be um, on a certain level, that he was a navi, he was a prophet for the nations. Now, someone who is able to talk with the Kadosh Baruch Hu is still on a certain type of level, and the fact that there are other regular people with him in there seems that like it's sort of a, like a disrespect to Kadosh Baruch Hu, to to Hashem, to the Creator, in sort of a uh, uh, not uh, direct connection. So what does we say? So in that explanation, she nitkaven lomalu lama shivam lachnisam yimbo vachadro. Why did you? Why? Why would you bring them into uh, your room? Veshivo ki balak vagoyel. So his answer was that because they're sent from Balak, who's a king. Al zeh adarich ki meshivo Hashem al rishon rishon. So now, just like he uh, answered back to Hashem before in that order, he's gonna he's gonna tell uh, Bilam now in the same order. Rishon, Rishon, the first thing he mentioned was the first thing he's going to answer now also over here. So just like Bilam said, they're, they're the messengers of a king. So now, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saying, you shouldn't go with them. What does this mean? Perush. So it's to show that the messengers that Balak sent weren't uh, so respected, they weren't on such a, um, how they say, Sarim Rabim and Ichbadim, sort of like big shot messengers, you can say uh, representatives. Um, so, like the U- UN has representatives of each country. So, those types of representatives, he, uh, the, the Perush, the, the explanation of Rochaim is saying that there wasn't um, the right representation for Bilam. So, because of that, you shouldn't go with them. So it's sort of like a, a, a mistake or or a, a sin on the kavod of Bilam, which sort of sounds kind of weird. 
ומה שנתכוון במה הראשון מי האנשים, and also it's the same explanation as מי האנשים, לשון פחיתות, it's a, it's a language of פחות, of, of less, lesser, לא מצד המשלח אלא מצד המשתלח, not from the person who's sending, but from the person who's uh, receiving the messengers, בלעם. והוא בלעם לא הבין הכבדה מתחילה, בלעם didn't understand what הקדוש ברוך הוא was talking about in מי האנשים, in that פסוק. ותמצא שהבין בלעם הדברים ואמר לשרים, but now that he understood what Hashem was talking about, מעין השם לתיתי להלוך עמכם, Hashem didn't allow me to go with you, ויסף בלק שלוח שרים רבים ונכבדים. So now, now בלעם understood that these messengers weren't so respected, so he sent them back because Hashem didn't allow me to go with you um, messengers who aren't at, on the right level. And so Balak sent newer messages, uh, uh, newer messengers and more respected messengers. And so the reason, so this is the weird part, the reason why Hashem allowed or, or made a certain kavod for Bil'am, מלבד הטעם שכתבתי למעלה פסוק מי אנשים, is besides the reason of what I wrote in מי אנשים, in that uh, explanation, נראה עוד לומר טעם בדבר, there's another explanation, כי השם נתן לו שכרו, because Hashem is giving him a reward. What's the reward that he's giving him? שאמר בתחילת תשובתו לזקני מואב, because the first thing that he said in his answer to מואב, to the, to the זקני מואב, the elders of מואב, והשיבותי אתכם דבר כאשר ידבר השם אליי. He said, I'll, I'll tell you what Hashem tells me. And so it's sort of saying that בלעם, וידוע כי אין הקדוש ברוך הוא, הוא מקפח שכר כל בריאה ואפילו של אומות העולם. So uh, בלעם was saying that I'm not the one who can say if I can go or not. If, there, if, it's, if, it's, if it's even okay for me to go, I can't be the one who says it's okay for me to go. It has to be Hashem, it has to be HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And for that, he was rewarded. And so, Or Chaim says that, V'yadu ki en HaKadosh Baruch Hu mekapech schal kol bria. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Hashem always rewards someone, every living thing, v'afilu shalomot alam, and even every living person, even stra- uh, the, every, every, all the nations, all the nations of the world. Not just the Jewish people. V'tzeu l'mad, and you should also see, Ma shilam ha-Kadosh Baruch Hu levurcha netzar al psiyotah v'chulu masechet Sanhedrin. Dav tzadik vav amud alef. So, with nevurcha netzar, he, um, from what I understand, he, he made sure that there was a correction, a mistake, on one of the kings in that time, and eventually nevurcha netzar became king himself. Even though he wasn't destined to become king logically, he became king. So that was the reward that Nebuchadnezzar got. So we see that that's a proof that even the other nations of the world can also be rewarded for the good things they do. And that's why also here he, he rewarded him and he honored him by saying you shouldn't go with them, with them, them being the lower messengers. ועל פי הדברים יתעשב על נכון מה שדקדקנו אמרו ביום האלוקים אל בלעם. And so with, these, with this understanding, it's going to make sense what we mean by ביום האלוקים אל בלעם. פירוש, מאמר שנוגע לבלעם, לכבודו. So what does it mean אל בלעם? Why does it have to say בלעם? It's to show that he's honoring him in this sense. לא תלך עמהם, you shouldn't go with them. שאין זה כבודך, because this is not really honorable for you. אגב, שהיו באים לקרוא לך על דבר שהיה, שיש לך רשות לעשותו. So, um, so even if, even if it was uh, something that you, it was okay for you to do, you would still have to go to Kadesh Baruch Hu. The fact that you went to Kadesh Baruch Hu and asked him, and asked that he he's the only one who's able to let me go. Shayu, Shenzek Vodecha. This is not honorable. Hagam Shayu Baim. He would also. As if they, so they were coming to ask him permission, but, but Bilam said, Bilam, they would ask him to come to ask Bilam for permission, but Bilam said, I can't, I can't give permission. I, who am I? HaKadosh Baruch Hu can tell me what to do. And that's why he was honored. That's why it says, Imahem, towards the end of the Pasuk. The main aspect of the, messenger, of the messengers, Amar Lota Oreta Am. The main uh, message of the messenger of the of this sending was that you shouldn't curse the nation. And there's a very uh Chaim is noticing the the specificity specificity of lotaor the the word taor to curse. There's another word he could have used, which is what Bilam used. You shouldn't curse. Help me also, which is also to curse. 
right? So why did he use Lotao where Bilam used Kavali? So what, what's the, why is there a difference in the word of curse, in the Hebrew word there? Lodio ki yada gam leshon ashlichut, shishalach balak u leshon ara amar, ve'akatso li Bilam bereme ze, shiyada shishina bilshono. So it was to show Bilam that Hashem knew what Balak sent Bilam to do. Balak sent Bilam to Kavali to help me uh, 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 hurt this nation, basically, to, 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 uh, to, bo to bother this nation, basically. And Bilam changed the, the gilsa, the, the, the language, to, to curse. So to show that Hashem really knows what Bilam was thinking. And the reason that he gave was because they were blessed. To show that these two sayings that he said to him, don't go and also don't curse. One of them is for the kavod of Bilam, which is uh, which is Like we said before, with why did it say Bilam and why with them? And because of that, if there were uh, more honorable messengers, so if it was just lo telech, if it was just don't go, maybe it was just because of the messengers that they weren't such respected messengers. So now that we have, uh, now that they brought much more respected messengers, now we can go and curse them. That was the wrong thinking that Bilam had. That's why Hashem had to come and say Kivaruch because they're blessed. Perush. What is the explanation here? This is the reason why we say why Hashem said Lotao, you shall not curse them. And so the idea of going with them Lotelech is to show the uh, the Hakbadad, the strictness that Hashem had on the honor of Bilam. Now we have another explanation on this pasuk. So this is still the Or Chaim. Amazing explanation. Od nireh lefaresh ha-katub al-zeh ha-derech. Lefi shiyada Hashem, ki bilam chafetz resha hu, u levasof yelech. Hashem knew, the Creator knew, Kadosh Baruch Hu knew, that bilam was going to go anyway. Doesn't matter what was going to happen. He knew that uh, bilam was rasha, and that he wanted to do evil, and so he was eventually going to go and do evil either way. Kamo sheken haya shiyizkim Hashem ushlacho. And so Hashem agreed to send it. Kasher ave'er atam bimkomo, and Or Chaim later on explains what Bezrat Hashem, that he, he's later on going to explain, later on in a different explanation, he explains why Hashem sent him either way. Why did he send him in the end? So this is why he said, don't go with them. Perush, what is the explanation here? Uh, so what does it mean, Imahem? So that Bil'am wasn't the one who decided to go. It was, it was actually Hashem who, who said that they can go. If he told him in the first place not to go, there would be no chance for Hashem to go back and say, now you can go. So he didn't, Hashem didn't leave any space for, if he would have said, uh, you can go, he wouldn't leave any space to say, you can now go. To show that Bilam was going to do it anyway. So now, before he was going to go on Bilam's thought, that he was going to go and do evil, but because Hashem said, you can stop, you, have to, you can't go yet, you can't go, I'm not letting you go. Hashem said to Bilam, you can't go. And then afterwards he said, now you can go. What does that show? That first Bilam was going to do it like he thought he was going to do, like he was going to curse the nation. But Hashem said no. The second time, Hashem said, now you can go. So now Bilam is going to do at the word of Hashem. He's not going to do at the word of Bilam. So now he's doing from Hashem's uh, command. And it says that he said to Bilam, it's to give the reason. Bilam wanted to go. He really wanted to go to curse the nation, to curse Bnei Israel. And that's why he made a decision to tell Bilam, you cannot go with them. You shall not curse because they are blessed. So now we have a different idea. Now Bilam is thinking, okay, fine. But Bnei Israel, they don't, they're not on the right spiritual level to defeat Moab. And so it seems that it would be okay for us to curse them if they're not on the right level. So either way, they're not gonna be, right now they're not going to be defeating Moab. So let us curse them now. So this is why we. This is why Hashem has to say Amar lo ta'o. This is why Hashem says you should not curse. But now you can also say uh, just because 
לא הגיע הזמן זכי אתה ממואב, so, but it didn't, they didn't reach the level of uh, getting into the land of מואב and defeating מואב, כי ברוך הוא, that's why it says כי ברוך הוא, אין, uh, אין ברוך אלא צדיק, כי הצדיקות הוא מקור הברכות, because the righteousness is the uh, essence of Uh, blessing, והכוונה בזה שלא יחשדם ברשע, כי ודאי שלא ייכנסו בגדר שעדיין לא הגיעם. So that they won't come into a certain uh, evil or, or bad situation, bad spiritual situation or any physical situation that was evil or bad, because they didn't have the chance to go into the uh, land of Moab. ובחל לכנות הצדיק לברוך, and that's why um, we call a צדיק blessed. So what, what's the connection there? שנתכוון לכלול גם כן מה שפרשנו בדרך ראשון. So what's really going on? So Bilam thought that Bnei Yisrael weren't on a, a, the right spiritual level. So if they weren't on the right spiritual level, then it would be okay for me to curse them. Now if I curse, so Hashem says, now you can't curse them. So now Bilam says, okay, fine, I can't curse them now, but can I curse them at all? So Lotaol includes any time. You can't curse them at all. So now what does it mean why does it have to say that they're blessed? We already know that you can't curse them. So why does it have to say that they're blessed? So what does it mean that they're blessed? It means that the, the, because they're tzadikim, because they're b'nei Yisrael, because they're the, the chosen people of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it shows that b'nei Yisrael, they, you can't curse them because it, they're blessed. They're inherently blessed from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So because of that, you're not allowed to curse them. So the Chaim is coming to teach us Bil'am thought that he could sort of trick HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He could do certain things just to go around Hashem. So it reminds, reminds me of, of some people who, who say, you know, nobody's watching. They do the sin in private. In private, what does that mean? HaKadosh Baruch Hu isn't in the room. Hashem is not everywhere. We know the song, Hashem is here. Hashem, is, what, Hashem isn't there at every time. Hashem knows what you're thinking. So... It's sort of the mistake that Bilam made. He thought that he could go around what HaKadosh Baruch Hu had planned. But really HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he made it so specific in his words to show that Bilam is really nothing compared to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is in control of everything. And Or Chaim, with the power of Or Chaim, we can help. As we know uh, recently, there was a, uh, uh, what was it, a building, a building collapsed in Miami. It's terrible. There should be lefua and healing everywhere in the world, not just in Miami, all over the world. People need help. And so with the help of Or Chaim, Rabbi Chaim ben Atal, we can send Rifua, uh, Bracha, right? We are B'nai Yisrael, send Bracha all over the world to help us in our times of need. And with this, we can uh, get closer to Mashiach and, and have the help of Rabbi Chaim ben Atal. Amen. Thank you so much. <laughs>